hello I am sweating I've been running around the village and my house manically for the past hour and a half or so because I am having a very special guest today to my garden because she's not technically allowed in the house apart from to walk through it to get to the garden or go to the loo but it's Pippa from the Worms Eye View channel and I'm literally just starting the vlog now like minutes before she's due to arrive because <sighs> I had plans to do a really nice salmon lunch and I thought I'll just nip out to Iceland and get it and come back and start cooking it and it'll all be perfect they didn't sell it um, so that was that and now she's coming a bit earlier than I thought she was coming and yeah I've been frantically hoovering and cleaning the bathroom sink and toilet and things like that all those little things you do I've tackled the very worst of it and opened all the windows for ventilation and uh, yeah I'm making her a chilli without the chilli because I've got a feeling she's not into very hot chilli so anyway I've, I think I've covered all bases and then I've put in spinach and then panicked and thought what she doesn't like spinach because some people really don't like spinach because of the texture so I've just put in some and I'll see if she likes it before deciding whether to put the rest in and I'm going to do potatoes with it and this is it but anyway she's due any minute and I'm looking out of my back window here to see if her van is going to pull up and I've got all the windows open so I'm thinking I might hear the engine so I'm very excited it's the most weird phenomenon I feel like Pippa's my, like one of my best friends and we talk to each other almost every day in DMs about you know all things vlogging and anything else really but we've never met in person it's the most weird thing ever anyway very excited and kind of with a weird tinge <laughs> you know what I mean so anyway I hope she likes my chilli I'm sure she'll be very polite about it if she doesn't later on today we have plans we're gonna go and do a waterfall walk up I think it's the Brecon Beacons way but anyway I'll put the name of it there it'll be in the title probably in the description and all that so you'll know by now before I do at this point anyway right I'm gonna catch my breath now after that manic I literally I had a flannel and I was just hoovering the stairs I was like oh no I could see dust on the skirting boards going up the stairs and I got a flannel and I literally just went doo, 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 and I ran all the way up the stairs with this flannel to get the dirt off she probably won't even look down there or care but there we are it's just one of those things you do when people are coming over right shut up him home who could live in a van like this <laughs> okay she doesn't actually live in it but you know well we haven't stopped nattering have we? We've just been chatting non-stop so I haven't been doing any filming at all. We had a bit of lunch together in the garden and now we're on the road and we're off to Fort Waterfall Trail. The weather is doing this which is not the best but I do have a rain mac down there. We're about to come through Glynneath on the way to Brecon. Apparently, according to the sign we just saw, we have entered waterfall country. On the way to Ustrad Vesta. Spog has no power. Come on, Spog, you can do it! He doesn't like hills. Oh, and I have a big bend. <laughs> you can do it! Go oh, on, that is a big bend. Oh. I must say I feel very special being in Spog. When I first got in I was like looking around at the van and I was like, oh, I'm really in Spog. <laughs> <laughs> the route's getting a lot more countrificated now and a lot more misty and a lot more rainy. <laughs> I think I might need trousers on rather than shorts. Ooh, well, your legs are waterproof, aren't they? My legs are waterproof. Yeah. yeah my legs are waterproof. <laughs> my face is waterproof too because I put sunblock on because I was really over ambitious. But it will deflect the raindrops as well, so it doubles up. Oh, the mist! Oh no! <laughs> I have an umbrella as well. Visibility is reducing. <laughs> I have some great ideas, don't I? Let's go on a hike, says me. All the sheep have gone now. Where are they? The sheep, they're invisible. There are sheep. We saw some just now and they were bright blue. <laughs> Smurf sheep. <laughs> they were. Oh, 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 sheep, sheep, blue, see, I wasn't actually telling the truth about the blue. I believe that's topping. Tupping? Tupping. Tupping, oh. The male has a um, paint thingy under his tummy and when he has topped his female, she has a blue back. So you know which sheep have been topped. Blimey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there? Yes! 
we had the window open for ventilation <laughs> and puddle. I think we're here. We'll mm. go with this. Yes. Oh, oh. It's, it's not raining now. I don't see raindrops in the puddle. That's the good start, at least. It's just generally moist in the air. Yes. Is the issue. It is. <laughs> Great idea, Pip. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're out of the van, it is raining. <laughs> this is where we've come to. Now, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Broor Skidai? Skidai? This is the one letter in Welsh that can be a bit variable, so not quite sure. But anyway, we are here. Waterfall country. We're going to embark on a five mile hike together in the rain. Pippa is emerging. She's been putting her special shoes on because she was in shorts, she was a bit ambitious. It's a different ecosystem up here. Yeah, I know, different to where I was. We'll go with some proper hiking gear now. There's English mud on, on those That's boots That's English there. mud, that is. I'm painting your Welsh countryside with my English mud. <laughs> and then I shall bring some nice Welsh mud back with me. And possibly some sheep poo. Possibly. Mm. Smurf sheep. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Oh, the rain. Good no, we're on one of your walks. Welcome to Wales, Pippa. Yep. <laughs> if we were walking back at mine, we'd all be in the sun and yeah. <sighs> She's vlogging, and I'm vlogging her vlogging. Are you vlogging me vlogging? I am. I do feel like I'm in an emo vlog now, in a woodland walk with water dripping. Funny that, because she is. <laughs> <laughs> Can I vlog you vlogging me vlogging you? Vlogging me? Uh, vlogging me? Uh, vlog uh, vlogging me? We're vlogging each other vlogging and I'm get getting no, very confused. No, no, I'm vlogging you vlogging me vlogging you. Sounds like a song. It does. Vlogging me vlogging you. <laughs> Make it copyright to that. Might do. I just it. Beat you to it. <laughs> Pippa said, oh, that sounds like a waterfall. Both dive for cameras simultaneously. We're going to get an awful, what call it, a deja vu <laughs> watching our channel for the next two days. Pippa looks like a speck disappearing out of view. I can definitely hear it. It's coming from that direction. <gasps> oh, wow. You can't really sit on this camera. This looks like a potentially skiddy path. <laughs> Look, there it is, can you see? And there we have a vlogger vlogging. I reckoned we might have been on the wrong path, so we've come back onto this more many looking one and we've been treated to quite a spectacle here, which is this. Hopefully we can get a bit closer to that. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Got a little diversion here. Looks like you need to concentrate on your footing, especially in this wet weather. Just going down to take a closer look because we can get on to the platform here that that descends from. I'm going to join her in a minute. <laughs> the pattern of the tree roots is making the path. That's quite interesting. Very interesting terrain. Now we're into patterns and rocks. I wonder how slippy this is going to be. There's Pippa just by there. I'm getting wet now. I don't know if it's just coming off the trees or if it's started to rain really heavily. <laughs> I think it was mostly coming off the trees actually. Oh, that is so beautiful. I love those patterns as they swirl about. <laughs> <laughs> it 
It's officially too slippy on here. I'm gonna go back gingerly. Every footstep is making me slip. Let's see how Pippa fares. I fall on my back. You might do. Oh, look at those skidding feet. Oh. I'm gonna film you filming what we just discussed so I don't have to <laughs> repeat it. I was just saying something to Pippa. I said, oh, that's too good to waste. I'm putting that in the vlog. Right then, so I was just saying, it's like, well, Pippa pointed it actually, and I was saying, yeah, it's like dawdling lazily along, and then it gets to the end, and then it just goes whoosh. The thing is, I'm getting the whoosh with the whole body movements, but your camera doesn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely little bridge. We were wondering how we were gonna get over the river. Now we know. Look at the roots. I thought they were quite spectacular. Whoop. It's getting hot and sweaty. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Fail. This is why you are advised to have a tripod and not a selfie stick. Right, missed you totally, you're not in shot. <laughs> <laughs> the moment passed, did it? <laughs> yeah, the moment passed, I was going to have a quick swig of water. We're getting thirsty. Do you want a drink? I will have a drink, yeah. I'll tell you what they are. <laughs> hey, that's I'll handy, be your tripod. Yay! <laughs> Lee, actually drinking water and not pop or squash for a change. I'm too thirsty for the pot. I have got pop in there. Did you bring pop? I did. Only one can though. Might have to fast forward that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. <sighs> Going up the routage again. Definitely is. Hot now. We've had some calf crunching hills, haven't we? I just heard people say there's a lot more steps this way. <gasps> oh no! And she stressed a lot. And she was about 20 years younger than us as well. <laughs> oh, there's some fungus up there. Those fungi up there, they remind me of nappies that have been left out in the rain. <laughs> The lesser spotted nappy fungus. If we were naming fungus, it would have much better names. Yeah, very creative we'd be. Actually, None of this bracket lark. Fungus is quite creative. Some of the things, like at the moment in the garden, we've got wolf's milk. And it's, actually it's a slime. Oh, it's gone off. No, it hasn't. It's, it's just the screen. It's a slime. It's not a fungus. And it's oh, yeah. orange. I've seen it on your vlogs. Like, that's... Why do you get wolf's milk out of something that's orange? Maybe wolf's milk is orange. Maybe. Maybe they've been eating a lot of carrots. Maybe. I think they eat grandmas from fairy tales, they do. don't they? And so she's had a lot of carrots. Maybe that, yeah, that's probably what it is that she grew in her garden. We're going down here now to uh, see another waterfall and the sign says it's 15 minutes away. And Pippa's just pointed out this is going to be one of those ones that kills your calves coming back up. Yes, another calf cruncher in the making. She's vlogging again. We're getting wetter and wetter. It's not really raining too much, but it's coming off the trees and we're mostly under trees. So whenever there's a gust of wind, a big shower comes down and <laughs> soaks us both. But it's really warm and because we've been on the move continuously and quite a lot of it up steep bits of hill when we've been down to look at a waterfall or something, we're not worried at all. It's just fine. As long as the cameras are okay, that's fine. And they're in a bag, so it should be right. I have a brolly in here. Just nearly walked straight into that holly branch. We've walked and walked all the way down the route. I suppose maybe 15 minutes. It was very rocky and uh, kind of woody, but now we've emerged into a clearing, which looks like this. Oh, wow. That is amazing. That's breathtaking. Just the tip are going for a close-up. Right now I need food and I have got chocolate and crisps in my bag. Wow, we've got a bit of a gully here. Look at all these roots, the way they've carved out the, the root. <laughs> it's a root root. 
Oh, that's amazing. Absolutely fascinating to look at. We have some kind of ravine thing. It was actually down there, I think, at the moment. snacky time. Pip has just put a bag down in a puzzle. That puzzle in fact. We needed this but I tell you what the route back up 15 minutes of hard climb. We've both got wet bums now. Yep. Pip has got full coverage. I've got partial coverage. Look because I sat on a narrow oh. thing. You're gonna have lines on your bum. Yeah I am. Pippa has kindly permitted me to film her backside for the vlog. Yes it's very it's quite wet but it's not completely that was a very enjoyable snack. That's where we were sitting by there. Pippa's down in the canyon filming and I'm just walking along the top bit here. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. A lady that we bumped into on the path up there was saying that if we go along here, by there, we'll come to a very, very beautiful spot. So that's where we're going to go. Oh, there's Pippa. Head bobbing in and out of view. I dare say we'll... Oh! I'm wondering if I ought to go and check if she's all right, but she did disappear rather suddenly then. Oh yeah, she's all right. <laughs> Here she comes, rising from the chasm, gallantly, heroically. Having a quick hand wash. Pandemic safe. I had to pull for a canyony bit. <laughs> you disappeared so suddenly. I thought I might go and check she hasn't fallen <laughs> over. No, I just had to crawl under this thing, this ledge. Yeah. And then I was free. Oh, cool. Oh my word. <laughs> Definitely glad I put these on and took the shorts off. Water is soaking up her trouser legs. Rising damp. Rising damp, certainly. A lot of this route has got a little boardy path and it's kind of fun it reminds me of kiddies play equipment because <laughs> it's kind of springy and boingy and um Pippa was boinging on it earlier when we weren't filming she actually is like this in real life apparently just stop to look at this stunning view again well I think it's stunning anyway <laughs> I'm not sure if it's coming out on camera but I just I really love the texture and colour of these Oh, I hadn't even thought about the dripping. It looks like jewel. It does, yeah, little flashy sparkles. I was particularly liking the pebbly montage there. And this here. Like a magic fairy pond or something. These little gems shining. terrain is absolutely extraordinary incredibly varied oh you really really do have to think about every step you take so it's very stimulating actually <laughs> it's not like a pavement is it Oh wow, this was definitely worth the extra walk. Oh my god, there is, whoa, we're just slipping. Um, <laughs> I thought that was it, and then I popped my head around here, and look! There's more! And more and more, it's definitely worth coming down. Absolutely stunning. Oh, look at that load of scum over there, it's all collected up.
We're dying. Well, I'm dying. Pippa's not dying. My heart is racing. Oh, I'm glad it's not just me. <sighs> That's a small fraction. We were so busy chatting, though. I didn't notice how far we went. I just suddenly realised my legs hurt and they were like jelly. <laughs> Slowing up considerably. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I think we might be at the top. Look, there's a path sign there. We haven't done all the big rocks. Oh, no. This is just a bend. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I thought that, but then I thought we haven't done the boulders. Oh, on the boulders. They were savage. <laughs> Sorry. It's the last bit of the 15, well, apparently 15 minute climb. It didn't feel like 15 minutes. It didn't feel 15 going up, did it? Didn't feel like 15 going down, to be honest. Maybe it's a, a generous 15. <gasps> we did it! Yeah! Uh, oh, very, very rosy cheeked. <sighs> We've come down another great big long steep path and um, Pippa appears to be taking her shoes and socks off. Oh, nice socks, by the way. So I think she's trying to get over there so that she can go behind the waterfall. I might join her, I don't know. Depends how deep it is. I don't really want to take my shoes off. She's going for it. I've stayed here quite frankly. I'm looking after the boots. She's done it, she's got to the other side. She's gonna go up there and behind the waterfall. I think I'll just film from here. <laughs> she's over there now, look. Now the amusing thing is, I'm not sure if people will find this amusing, is actually people are accessing it from that side, but from here it didn't look as if you could, but I've just seen people just walking along. <laughs> Happy as anything. <laughs> uh. I have been behind there before, but I didn't really want to risk getting the cameras wet, so I'm staying here. Oh, she's going in. just very inconveniently started to rain right at this moment. <laughs> You'll have to watch Pippa's vlog if you haven't already to see what she's talking about right now because what she's filming right now will be in that vlog. She's probably up before this one I should imagine. I wonder how wet Pippa is now. And she is now returning. Whoa. Here we have the crab motion technique. Oh yes, like in that sideways motion. Reminds me of some species or another, but I can't quite remember which at the moment. Not far to go. <laughs> Nearly! Nearly! <laughs> well, somebody did have a swim already. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Oh yeah, look at that hairy chest. See, they can't see the hairy chest. They're going, what is she talking about? She's got fluff it on the t Right, hold on. Get your mirror. <laughs> okay. I'm not, excuse you. I'm not just saying I've got a hairy chest. Okay, my <laughs> chest is perfectly unhairy, but let me just show you what I can see. See, she's got a fluff it. Oh, you're in portrait. Oh, hey, what now? What's going on? <laughs> Up the other way. Is that not the right way? Can you see? 
Oh, for me, it. right, yeah. I thought you were doing it for your vlog. No, this is for but you. What's she doing filming in portrait? No, it's for you. you see, yeah, see that there? When you look and you hold it in selfie yeah. mode, it looks like you've got a big load of fluffy hair coming out of the top yeah. of your t-shirt. So when I, when I do this, it looks like I've got a hairy chest. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. We <laughs> Finally, the people that were here have gone. Like, we rocked up to have a lovely cup of tea in the van. There were people getting undressed in cars next to us. They stripped off en masse. We're not, we're not kidding. I didn't know it was that kind of car park. <laughs> I mean, it, it wasn't that random. They'd been caving or something. They were taking off helmets and wetsuits. And they, one of them was tipping out a boot and there was loads of water in it, that sort of thing. So there was a genuine reason. They weren't just randomly stripping off for no reason. in a car park, you know what that means. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for the tea, Pippa. And I'll make a difference. Come back to a van and have a cup of tea. Oh, so nice. Very cosy. I was admiring the <laughs> skull and crossbones. Totally in keeping with the rest of the van's artwork. Totally. It came with it, apparently. It did. Pirate, it pirate themed. <laughs> oh, it's a cattle grid, it is. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Look, every so often the cars go over it and it sounds like someone's blowing off. So Pippa, as you may have noticed, has vlogged today as well. So there's going to be another perspective on today. So I will link that at the end of this video because it will be up before mine. Oh, believe me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like a snail compared to little Miss Hare over there. Give us uh, what to do tonight. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Anyway, I'm going to pass you over to her now. I'm okay. going to try and be Imo. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you like the video please give it a like if you'd like to follow more of our adventures please press the subscribe button <laughs> uh, because uh, something to do with it really helps the channel to grow <laughs> and i so appreciate it there you go <laughs> something fabulous like that.